Today, what I want to talk about is delegating your lead conversion follow-up to an inside sales agent and when the right time to do that is, but also when the wrong time to do that is. Hi folks, I'm James McDonald with Agent Lead to Close with another tip for all of you subscribers to Agent Inner Circle. Now, if you're like most agents, sitting down, picking up the phone and following up with leads might not be your favorite activity in your real estate business. And if it isn't, it may be because you're not as effective at it as you could be. If you knew that when I sat down and I followed up with leads for 45 minutes, you know, a couple times a day, I booked two, three appointments with prospective clients, You'd enjoy it a whole lot more because it was a lot more fruitful. But if that's not happening and you're like, well, I just blew 45 minutes and got nowhere with everybody, then yeah, you could get bored of that pretty quickly. So let's establish this first of all. If the reason we want to delegate our lead conversion is because we're ineffective at it, then it's very likely the person that we hire to take over is going to be equally as ineffective. You're not exactly going to be in a position to show somebody how to be good at something that you are not. So that would be a mistake. On the other hand, you're a very busy, successful realtor right now, and you've got an overflow of business. You've got an overflow of clients. You're closing deals. It's extremely time consuming, but at the same time, you're generating lots of leads from various sources. And those leads make up the lifeblood of where your business comes from, but you're one person. So you can only do so much and you're starting to realize that you're not effectively following up with all the leads and converting them as effectively as you could. So at that point in time, we think if I could get somebody to help me with the leads and I could train them to be equally as effective as I am, I would have a lot more appointments and I could take some of the follow-up off of my plate. That's when it's the appropriate time to start growing your ISA team. But I want you to consider this before you take that step. Are you carving aside time on your day timer on a daily basis, designated time to follow up with your leads? You're not fitting it in where you have time. You're prioritizing lead conversion, a 45 minute block here, 30 minutes here, maybe from 5.30 to 6.30 on a Thursday evening, I make some follow-up calls here. If you have prioritized your follow-up, it'll likely happen and you'll get better and better at it more likely. But if that's not happening and you're just kind of fitting it in sporadically, well, the first thing you need to fix is priority. And the second thing to consider is this. If you delegate away the lead conversion, which is where your clients actually come from, and the person you delegate it to isn't as effective as you or is ineffective at all, then what you're going to discover, as many agents have discovered that I've worked with, is their business actually decreases as a result. It doesn't increase as you're fantasizing about. It actually decreases. So it's very important that you recognize when you get really, really busy, some of the things that you're really busy with could be streamlined and could be delegated as opposed to the lead conversion, the lifeblood of where your business comes from, maybe that shouldn't be the first thing that you consider delegating. If you're running around, you know, making feature sheets and, and putting up, uh, you know, videos and you're doing things that are administrative that don't require a real estate license, that maybe pay 12, 15 bucks an hour type thing. Maybe those are the activities that could be delegated away to give you more time to convert the leads that you're generating. And then when you get maxed out, that's when it might be time to look at an inside sales agent to help you with this process. At Agent Lead to Close, we work with realtors, both solo agents in helping them maximize their lead conversion potential and also inside sales agent teams, both virtual and in-house to maximize all of the leads and the various lead sources from their teams to maximize effectiveness as well. You know, it's very likely that you invest in lead generation but where you might be lacking is in your investment in lead conversion. If we spend a lot of money getting all these leads coming in and there are prospects sitting in your database that are going to do business with another agent only because 
our process was insufficient. Visit www.agentleadtoclose.com and we can help you in that department, whether it's for a very short period of time, inexpensive, or whether it's training your team over a longer period of time. Uh, choice is yours. I hope you found this helpful. I'm looking forward to another tip. If you're not already subscribed to Agent Inner Circle, make sure you do so, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much, everybody.